What is a psychoanalyst's favorite mathematical function? Sigmoid Freud. It's too late in the day for this, isn't it? <laughs> so these are called sigmoid or logistic functions. And when you see these things in the context of data science pursuits, typically that sigmoid serves the function of forcing your output to live between where you have said it must live. Probabilities have to stay between zero and one. Okay, this is a way to force it to stay there. But another lovely thing that you get from the sigmoid curve is something that you might remember if you have ever taken an economics class. I have an undergraduate degree in economics, so I still remember the nightmare. So have you taken, who's taken an economics class? Anyone? I see a few hands. So do you remember really early on there was a law of something? Diminishing marginal returns, exactly. <laughs> this is a way of algorithmically, mathematically putting diminishing returns into your model. So let's read what it says here. If I study for 20 hours, pass fail for me is touch and go, right close to 50%. But let's say that I study an extra 10 hours over that, look, my probability is pretty close to 100% of passing. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pass. So if I put another 10 hours in over that, am I going to be again that much more likely to pass? No, I'm already passing. Or if you wanna put it a different way, at 20 hours, it's touch and go. If I reduce by 10 hours, I'm failing, so I may as well not study. Standard undergraduate logic. <laughs> So diminishing returns is encoded nicely in this model. So you get to peg your output where you want it, you get diminishing returns from uh, your sigmoid functions. <laughs>